Hello students, in this video I am going to discuss about the various topics that you should cover and you should not skip these topics for your advanced system security and digital forensics university exam. Starting off with the very first module, it discusses the various cyber attacks possible. So you must study in brief what are the various cyber attacks, what are the various types of cyber attacks, then move towards the various access control policies such as discretionary access control and mandatory access control. You should not skip the differences between single sign-on and federated identity management. One of the products is a subset of the other product. You should be knowing that. Then moving towards the uh, next module that is program and OS security. You have already studied this module much in detail in your previous semesters. That is a cryptography and system security subject. So you must be knowing what is the difference between non-malicious and malicious programming errors. You uh, should be in a position to differentiate between viruses, worms, trojans, etc, etc. You should also understand the difference between a rootkit, a stealth virus, polymorphic virus, etc. You should understand the differences between a covert channel, channel and a targeted malicious code. What are the differences between them? You should have a thorough understanding of all these things. Moving towards the next topic that is the OS security. Uh, you should not skip this, uh, you should understand what is fencing, what is relocation, how you can uh, divide the various processes in an operating system with the help of some cryptographic separation or some temporal separation, so you should understand this. You should also know what is paging and segmentation and you must have studied this in your operating systems subject so you can use the same knowledge over here and explain what is the uh, method of providing security using paging and segmentation. Moving towards third module, it is all about web application security. It is a vast module, so you have to understand each and every topics in detail. Starting off with OVASP top 10, that is the latest one, 2017 model. Don't skip any of these attacks because any particular question can be asked from these topics, that is the top 10 attacks. Starting with injection to the cross-site scripting, any, any question can be asked. Moving towards the next topics. You must understand what is secure socket layer, what is secure shell, what is HTTPS, how SSL is used in HTTPS, etc. Et you must also know the difference between click jacking, cross site scripting, and cross site request forgery. These are the most typical questions that are asked in the university exam. Ending this module with the question, popular question that is, what is session hijacking, what is phishing, and farming. You must know the difference between phishing and farming, so don't skip it. Moving towards the fourth module that is wireless security, this module is all about how we can provide security to our mobile devices. Starting off with WEP, then WPA and then WPA2. So you must differentiate them, create a table, make a table of differentiation where you should discuss what were the drawbacks of the previous model. That is the main reason of creating the next set of model or next algorithm. So you should understand why WEP was replaced by WPA and why WPA was replaced by WPA2. You must also learn about the key sizes and the various algorithms which are used for encryption in these particular uh, algorithms that is security models that is WEP, WPA and WPA2 respectively. Towards the end of this module, you must also learn about what is VPN and how is it different from a proxy server. Let's move on towards our next module that is module number 5. This module is all about discussing what is an intellectual property, what is copyright, what is a trademark, how is it different from a patent, what is a geographical indication, what is a trade secret. These 5 things you have to cover compulsorily and you should also understand the state laws, for example, what are the various laws which govern uh, any uh, malpractice against your copyrighted materials, for example, DMCA, uh, CFAA and DRM. These are the various laws that you should understand. Similarly, what is the process of patenting in our country? You should study about that also. Moving towards the last module, this module is all about digital forensics so you should make a thorough understanding of the entire digital forensics life cycle starting from the very first step that is collection of evidence till the very last step that is presenting the evidence in the court of law so you have to study thoroughly what exactly is chain of custody how we can acquire volatile data from a computer system that is from a live system 
and what are the various ways of analyzing those evidences what are the various re uh, regions where inside a computer you can find the various evidences for example the log files application logs the ram dumps tcp dump etc what are the various regions from where you can find the evidences you should understand all of that in detail so these are all the topics that you should cover compulsorily without skipping any one of them so i hope you would do your best stay focused study harder all the best thank you